Welcome to the OCI Grails QuickCast, bite-sized portions of Grails productivity tips to help maximize developer productivity with the framework. Grails QuickCasts are brought to you by OCI, the home of the core Grails development team and your source for professional support, project work, and training around the Grails framework. Grails QuickCasts are distributed in partnership with DZone, who help build knowledge and relationships to maximize your success. Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it is to set up a multi-project build with Grails 3. The first thing you need to do to get going is obviously to have Grails installed, which I do. You see I have the latest version of Grails installed. The next thing you want to do is create the projects which you want to participate in the multi-project build. So the way which you do that is to first create create an application, let's call it My App. And then we can create a plugin, let's call it My uh, Plugin. Notice that we have the application and the plugin adjacent to each other. Uh, generally you can specify paths to them in your multi-project build setup but to keep things simple this is the easiest way to do it. Once you have those two in place the next thing to do is to create a settings.gradle file which we can then open up in a text editor and within the text editor the key is to use include and then your application and Once that's done, we can then add a dependency from the application to the plugin. So let's see how that's done. So within my application here, open up the build of Gradle file. And uh, we can see down here, we got our dependencies. So we could declare it in here, but instead of declaring it in there, I'm going to use the Grails plugins block uh, purely because this will allow me to get some automatic reloading of subproject dependencies. So I'm going to add a compile time dependency on another project called my plugin. Notice how we start the reference with colon. That's a great little convention. Uh, that is essentially telling my, um, the my app project that it has a dependency on the my plugin project. Now if we save that and uh, let's start up Grails interactive mode within the application and see what we have. Okay, with interactive mode up and running, I'm going to um, run the run app command and add the verbose flag. The verbose flag will allow us to see some of the build output, uh, which will demonstrate uh, the multi project build in action uh, from Gradle. So if we run that, we can see that. The plugin, my plugin, is being built first and then being placed on the class path for the application. And um, now, if we open up a browser and go to have a look at my application, you can see that in the list of installed plugins here, we will find my plugin. Uh, so it is participating in the multi project build and being added to the class path. Um, so one of the differences between what Grails does and what regular Gradle does is that we compile the plugin and put the classes and resources directly on the class path. Uh, this allows changes to be made to the plugin sources and those changes to be visible in the uh, browser just by hitting the refresh button. Uh, also automatic reloading of your multi-project build, which is Pretty important from a productivity standpoint. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how to import your multi-project build into um, IntelliJ IDEA. Obviously, if you have a local Gradle installation set up already, that's more ideal. You can point IntelliJ directly to it, but if you don't, what you can do is use the Gradle wrapper. Uh, so, if we um, have a look at my project here, you'll notice that this 
the application here um, does already have a wrapper task set up, but of course this wrapper task is not available to uh, the parent root project. So what we have to do, see back up here and create a root build.gradle file. And then essentially we can uh, copy it, or even cut this task up out here and put it into our uh, root build.gradle file. Once you've got this in place, uh, you can see it's referencing a wrapper version, um, which is normally obtained from the gradle.properties up here. So again, it makes sense to uh, have a root to gradle.properties and you'll see that we will be using this in other places. Uh, so we can copy this root uh, gradle.properties into uh, the Gradle wrapper version into our root gradle.properties. And uh, now if we run the Gradle wrapper task, uh, that'll set up a wrapper for my multi-project build, which you can then use to run on your CI, CI server or whatever you may need. And you can also use it to help importing into IntelliJ without having to point IntelliJ to a installation of Gradle itself. So as you can see, the wrapper task has completed and within the root of my project now we have a Gradle W and Gradle W bat. These are then executable from your CI server or uh, from any environment without having to have Gradle installed before building your multi-project build. We can then open up IntelliJ IDEA click um, open the open button and navigate to our uh, multi-project build and uh, essentially point uh, to the um, settings.gradle file of our multi-project build, build and click OK. And then when you have get the import dialog in IntelliJ, you can click use customizable Gradle wrapper and click the OK button and IntelliJ will essentially import your project and it will be fully compilable and ready to develop. Now one thing you'll notice is that um, there is a lot of duplication between the build.gradle from the application and the build.gradle um, within the plugin. So one of the things that we're setting up a multi-project build is you can remove a lot of that duplication and have a much more simple build. Um, and the way you do that is by letting the root build.gradle of the parent project essentially power the child project. So what we can do is we can go into the build.gradle and essentially move, for example, this build script logic uh, directly to, into the parent which helps set up the class path for the build and so forth. And uh, since that's duplicated in both my plugin and my application, we can again um, go into my plugin and just delete it from there. Another thing that is typically duplicated is the version and the group. You may want to share a common version and a common group across your whole multi project build. And again, we can. Um, come in here from our application and put those values directly into the root project rather than having them in each individual child project. E another thing that we can do is we can move any other repositories and dependency management definitions from uh, the, the, uh, the child project into the root project. Um, so if we go into my application here, and we can define these instead inside the root project. Again, removing any duplication that we have uh, in the child project. And then what you can do in, as well is Gradle allows you to provide um, apply settings to all sub-projects. And the way you do that is with the sub-project block 
so we can do a sub projects block in here and for each project provide specific settings uh, so typically there's a lot of commonality uh, between these two for example repositories and dependency management is the same between the two the plugin and the application so as you can see we're gradually simplifying our build removing duplication and uh, ensuring that our build is as dry as possible, which is very important. And then the next thing we want to do is make sure that each sub-project has the correct plugins applied. So you can see for a, for a um, plugin, a Grails plugin has a certain set of Gradle plugins applied. And for a Grails application, it has a different set of Gradle plugins. So you can set up a convention for this. Um, it's very up, very up to you, or you can hard code the names. Uh, one, one thing you can do is the sub projects uh, block gets past the project itself, and you can mix it up a convention. For example, you can say if project.name ends with plugin, which is the case in my multi project build setup, then I want to apply uh, these set of plugins. And uh, you can say otherwise. I want to apply the application level set of plugins. There we go. And actually, you probably want this, these plugins to be applied uh, prior, the, the first thing essentially, prior to anything else. There we go. So now if we look at our, our, our different builds here, you can see that the application build, all of, the only thing it's got to find is its dependencies. Uh, if there's common dependencies between the two, two, you can even get that applied in the parent build and then you only have the um, specific dependencies uh, needed for each pro sub project. And again, same thing here, just dependencies. We can even remove this Gradle wrapper task from before since it's defined in the parent. And we have a much more dry build. So let's see what happens now if I run Gradle Assemble and see if uh, we have everything working as we anticipated. So I run Gradle Assemble from my root project. Oh, I get an error. So the Grails version is missing. So this is why, where I told you before that uh, we would be needing that root project uh, gradle.properties. So in the root project here, uh, it's got the Gradle wrapper version, but it doesn't define a Grails version. So where is Grails version defined? Currently, it's in, in each individual sub-project. So again, uh, we can take that from our individual sub-project and put it in the root project gradle.properties. And then these gradle.properties are essentially now empty. So we can delete the gradle.properties for each child project and just have a gradle.properties in the parent project. There we go. So with the Gradle.properties correctly configured, let's run Gradle Assemble and see uh, if all of our um, sub-projects are built when running from the root project. As you can see, Gradle is initiate, initiating three projects. If there are three because we have our root project and the two sub-projects. It's building first the, the plugin, which uh, the application depends on, and now it's building the application itself. So I hope you found that useful. That's how you def you set up a dry multi-project build with Grails 3 and Gradle uh, with a minimal amount of build configuration in each uh, sub-project. Um, and I hope you found this screencast useful.